concepts of physics, starting with the uh, uh, introduction to a physics course and lab a little bit and uh, units that uh, might be used. So some, some basic questions be in the scientific uh, system of units in the metric system, what would we use for length? Well, not feet, that's the English system. In the metric system, we're going to be using meters, and that would abbreviate it um, with just an M after a number, so three meters. Uh, for mass, we're not going to use pounds. Pounds is a unit of force, not of uh, the quantity of material or the inertia of an object. So the mass in the metric system is the kilogram, is our standard the kilogram, so we might have 7.3 kilograms for an object. So meters for length, kilograms for mass. Uh, in a laboratory situation, you want to be careful that you do not have systematic errors as you record your data. You will have random errors. You cannot avoid random errors, but uh, systematic errors are a bigger concern. Um, systematic errors will have an effect on the final result. An averaging of many measurements will not produce the, a good result if there are systematic errors present. Um, systematic errors are not purposely included uh, to kind of fudge the data. That's not legal in science. Systematic errors, yes, C, will consistently make the measurement too large or too small. So if you don't understand how to calibrate your equipment, uh, don't understand how to use it properly in making a measurement, um, you could always measure a little bit too high or always a little bit too low, and your average will be too high or your average will be too low. Um, and systematic errors are not percent difference. Okay, a little quick conversion factor. Suppose we want to know and this is just an example of converting units. How many inches in a micro kilometer? In a micro kilometer. Well, the micro symbol is 1 times 10 to the minus 6 for a value. So micro kilometer. And then a kilometer is 1,000 meters. I'm going to divide this by 1. And now as I bring in the conversion factor, I need to put the kilometer of the conversion factor in the denominator, so these units will cancel. I have a thousand meters in a kilometer. Sorry, get on the screen here. A thousand meters in a kilometer. And then in the front of uh, many books, there is a chart of conversion factors, and you may discover in your book that you have a conversion factor of 39.37 inches for one meter. So the kilometers have canceled, the meters have canceled, we're left with inches, the micro is taken care of by the 10 to the minus 6. If you run this through a calculator, you'll find that you have 0 0.0394 inches. A micro kilometer is relatively small. This micro is a millionth. So that's really uh, the reason we get cut down here. Now, in the laboratory situation again, and ask your instructor what uh, rules your instructor uses, but significant figures are important to keep track of, so we uh, don't uh, claim too much uh, accuracy in our result, or precision in our result. Um, so 1,200 plus or minus 300, the uncertainty here in where we are not very confident of our uh, digit is right here at the 2. So we're very confident of the uh, thousands place. It's a one. We're more or less confident of the two. It could be uh, two. You know, if I plus 300, that'd be 1,500. If I'd subtract 300, that'd be 900. So our uncertainty is coming in at this place. And that's where we have uh, significance. So two significant figures here. These zeros are not significant. They're only there because the number's big. And then here, 0 0.003, and no plus or minus given, but we only have one significant figure in this situation. Zeros to the left of digits are not significant. They're just there because the number is small, three thousandths of whatever unit, not important. So there's a quick tour of uh, some beginning principles with uh, a course. Metric system, meters, kilograms, and seconds are the time units. In a laboratory situation, make sure you know how to use the equipment.
Otherwise, you may always be writing down a number that's too big or too small, a systematic error. Conversion factors are helped by uh, tables and books to give us a little bit of uh, uh, speed. You could do this in a more detailed way, but uh, uh, I'll go ahead and use that chart in the book. And then significant figures, the plus or minus gives you a clue as to where your significant figures end. So the one and the two are significant, two significant figures. Zeros to the left are never significant. Um, maybe just a little quick uh, thing here, point zero four zero. If I bother to write a zero to the right of the four, and really all measurements should have a plus or minus on them, but suppose you run across a situation where it, uh, is the plus or minus is not given. If someone writes down point zero four zero, that would be two significant figures if they take the trouble to write that zero or point zero uh, five zero zero, three significant figures. So zeros to the right in decimal numbers are significant. Zeros to the left are not significant. Um, the zero to the left of the four or the five, not a significant digit. Okay, going to stop there. Uh, ask your instructor if you have questions on this.